Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, happy Easter. It's not Easter yet, but I'm going to post this tomorrow. So I hope everyone is gearing up for a festive day. Maybe a little food. It doesn't have to be expensive. So, okay, I made some tasty chamomile tea. I've had a terrible insomnia. Oh, uh, if you're a true insomniac, uh, insomnia is more common than a good night's sleep. But this shouldn't really aggravate it too much. So, you guys, I've been doing, uh, I've been, you know, redoing the kitchen, and it's coming along nicely. So today I brought a bunch of fruit, so I got my bowls. I bought all these bowls recently. So I want to make a tasty little meal tonight to tie me over until tomorrow. I made some, I had, I only had one package of thin cut beef, so uh, it had four pieces and I ate two as soon as they came out of the oven with salt. These are for the dog for an Easter treat. He does an excellent job of guarding the family and the yard. And he looks forward to my treats too. <laughs> and I bought these bowls for a dollar because I thought, you know, this size bowl is hard to find. Here's my new plates, these will do. Uh, I was able to get the bowls for a dollar, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. So, okay, so what I made was, what did I make? I made sausages. I had, what did I do with them? Um, I had bought sausages when they were on sale, and I thought I'd put them somewhere where I could find them, but um, I didn't, and I can't. So, anyway, just don't open that door. <laughs> So uh, here's the sausages, and I just bake these in the oven at 400 with some oil, so as not to strain myself. And then I have still have potatoes left. So if you're thinking, aren't you getting sick of potatoes? Yeah, I am kind of sick of them, but that's okay. I think I have about eight or ten left. So if you're single and you buy ten pounds of sausages. That is going to keep you going for a while. And so I have some uh, evaporated milk and I mixed up a half a cup. And uh, I have a little butter. So I want to use this up. It's, it's not the best looking butter, but I try not to waste. You know, if I have had something in there for a while and I don't want to eat it, it's time to toss it, you know. I know there are people that go, no wasting, that's wrong. What about the starving children in China? Well, I do the best I can. Let me heat that a little bit. Uh, let's see if I have some chives. Uh, the problem is is there's been reports of food shortages in China and Russia. Well, shortages, like supply chain shortages in Russia, which is to be expected since they're uh, sanctioned. Well, and a lot of the U.S. companies are paying their, pay their employees while they're being uh, sanctioned. And the franchise so I just have some butter and some potatoes and I want to mash them because this is good with, uh, this is good with sausages. So a uh, holiday, no holiday. I try to pretty much do the same thing, you know, all the time. I had my, I don't know, uh, I think these stones are called geos, 
I think it was yesterday, this one looked like an alien. And I can sell these at the, the swap meet. Um, I don't really sell them, but I can sell them. If, you know, uh, if you need money, uh, that's the time to sell stuff. I would sell those for about eight bucks each. And that would be a good deal. So if I get up in the morning early and I go to the swap meet and the heat is coming up, I want to sell the stuff by 10 o'clock and uh, go home. Okay, today I ran into this guy in the thrift store and he had a whole bunch of jewelry on like I do. And I picked up some uh, from the back and what he had was, I don't know if I can find him, I have a lot of, let's see, where is that? Um, here. He had long, these are blue ambers, the ones that are in the middle, and then they graduate all the way up to tiny ones, but he had long strands of these. And I said, I will just slip these off of your neck. And he goes, well, I'm a, I sell jewelry, I'm a jeweler. I go, so am I, and I can't find any. He goes, yeah, I can't find them either. I go, what do you do? And he goes, well, I have people that call me. So I was thinking about this chance encounter and I thought, actually, I think I can find them. And why wouldn't I find them, you know, when I first started selling jewelry, you know, you have to learn, sell like what? And then I have some peas. Just regular old canned peas. And then in my refrigerator, I have some uh, rolls. At one point, I bought these rolls. Ugh. 50% off. And then, you know, when I need rolls, I just eat them. Hawaiian rolls. After the holiday, we're going to be able to get those. Oh, here's the sausages. So what I did is I just waited around until these sausages went on sale. I think it was, I think this package had 12. And I think I bought these for about $5.99, and I usually eat two. Uh, I've had the birds listening to sparrows today. So if you hear their sparrow tweets, you know. Uh, the other day it was uh, jungle tweeting. <laughs> there is some wild tweeting coming out of that cage. <laughs> Okay, so I will have, okay, so today I was doing markdown shopping. So let me see if I can find, since I have a bread knife, why wouldn't I use it? I now have a bread, oh, I now have a potato masher. Not that I used it, but I had one. I planned on using it. So now what I bought today is I bought, um, some good jam and this was three dollars and I was buying the dollar stuff but I noticed that a, a jar of jam lasts me forever so I thought why not have a little bit better jam especially if you're gonna go to all the trouble to make homemade bread uh, you know this is nice so if you buy your food marked down, you can buy, and when you, you notice what you're eating and how much, then you can, uh, you know, spend a little bit more if it's something, that last, that last, uh, if you remember, I had orange marmalade for maybe a year. Ooh, yummy. Take a look at this. Our good. All right, and uh, I have some mustard.
So now I thought maybe I will locate jewelry again. It's very hard to locate jewelry in thrift stores, but there is lots of um, hawk shops and there are, are lots of vendors, uh, lots of them. A lot of this amber stuff comes from Mexico, like the blue ambers. So um, I haven't been able to, I have to, I haven't been able to find, look at this beautiful jacket I bought today. Let me see if this fits me. I try to get everything, yeah, it looks like it's going to. I bought this lovely jacket for $7.50 leather. And it's got a lot of rhinestones. So for some young girl with a love of bling, which is all of them, because it looks beautiful. Uh, this will fit my daughter-in-law. I might give it to her. Okay, so now for dessert, I'm going over there tomorrow, so we'll see. She has tons of stuff though. Okay, so this is some uh, Julia Child's apple bread. Tomorrow, I might do a little baking before I go over, maybe. So, this is very sticky. It was frozen. So, this is Julia Child's apple bread. This stuff is so good, and especially with tea. So you can take it right out of the freezer and you can get your your tea. Let me give you the recipe real quick. This recipe is on my uh, Twitter. I don't leave them up forever though, so that's why I include them. It's right here in the uh, video so you can take a screenshot. Uh, this is probably my favorite a recipe because if you're going to drink tea, if you have good cookies or a little piece of homemade uh, apple bread or banana bread, that's apple fruit cake. Okay, so today I was, I was shopping. That's when I bought the coat. And I went to 99 cent only and I found all these pears for a dollar. And so I think I'm going to make some pear bread using the same, uh, they say there are uh, citrus shortages, so I bought these for a dollar. Uh, Ellen's Abundant Life on Less did an awesome haul on Markdown Fruits and Vegetables. She bought like a big crate. We don't have that out here, but if I find one. And then they had, these are good bananas uh, for uh, $1 at Grocery Outlet. I bought a box of cereal for $1. Uh, that was at uh, 99 cent only. Uh, then I saw, they had three cans of tuna that are dented. See the little dent? So I got three cans of tuna for 50 cents. Those will go right into the stockpile. I got a package of uh, toothpaste and some cookies, 50% off. Those will taste good with my tea. I got one can, as long as it's a little bit, corn. Corn is something we might be seeing um, an increase also, I wanted to mention, you know, this bird flu. And so I heard this a while back. And so I've been thinking about it. And it said, if there's a grain shortage, who will eat first, people or animals? So all the animals eat grain. That is a problem, uh, especially when one of the major uh, grain producers is the Ukraine. I don't think the inflation is going anywhere. Although my gas was a little cheaper, I took these out of the stockpile. So I was thinking maybe for tomorrow, I might bake down some pears. I just put them in the oven with some brown sugar, 
some cinnamon, some nutmeg, and some butter, bake them down, and then put this apple crisp topping, or I might make a cheesecake, or I might just take the stuff over there. And then I went to Grocery Outlet because I've been getting some good stuff there. So they had these two cake mixes for 99 cents, and that's incredible cheap for a cake mix, so I thought I'm gonna take them. And then I got crackers because if if you don't have bread, if you have crackers, and then I bought, now this was the deal. These were two for uh, 97 cents ham and I cut the packages in half and freeze them so I can, I like sandwiches like turkey and cheese that just suits me fine. So that's what's going on and that's what's gonna be going on. Now babies, babies, can you say Happy Easter to the YouTube? Ah, they're pecking each other. Say hi you guys, say Happy Easter. Can you say Happy Easter to YouTube followers? Say Happy Easter, please, sweetie pie. One little tweet. They don't get it yet. Now they're pecking each other. They've been doing this. I'm not sure what that means. So you guys, that's what's going on here. I will give you a little video when I get to my son. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.